Good afternoon, everybody. We start uh, the second session of the Public Policy Forum now, LAG 2023-5, version 1, uh, elimination of rowers in case of recovered resources. We invite Santiago Waya to present his proposal. We remind him that he has 10 minutes to present it. Thank you, Sergio. Good afternoon. I'm going to present proposal 2023-5, version 1. The proposal is called Elimination of ROA in Case of Recovered Resources. The summary of the proposal is that whenever a resource is recovered, there is a process to be followed to ensure that uh, the uh, holder of the resource will no longer will be changed in the database of LACNIC, its uh, associated uh, rows and their respective IRRs. The justification of the policy is that in the policy manual in section 7, it determines the details of this uh, process, revoking the resources, what, for instance, what to do with the uh, holder of the recovered resource and eliminating them from the database of LACNIC. But nothing is said about the rowers. In the, and in the case that the, the ones that have been created, no, with the IRR registries, if they were created, the rowers may be created or not, and the IRR registries too, but it is important to, for, to create them and for them to exist in the repositories. The current uh, text is in point seven one uh, the process of re for revoking resources and the change that is proposed in this uh, proposal is adding in addition to deleting the holders registries uh, titles uh, to add that the rowers of the recovered resource and their sub assignments will be revoked and uh, the registries uh, associated in the IRR. Thank you, Santiago. This proposal has not been assessed in terms of its impact, so we're going to start the discussion time. We invite you to share your doubts, your comments, to give us your feedback. We remind you that we have two microphones in uh, the hall. In Zoom, you have the Q&A uh, uh, panel, or you can raise your hand. You have two minutes to um, uh, formulate your question, and the author has two minutes to answer. Please respect your time. We have simultaneous translation, so we ask you to please don't rush, speak your native language, and uh, state your name, your organization, if whether you're in favor or against the proposal, and if you're against, please say why. So let's now start with the discussion period. We have a microphone. We have a question here. Jordi, go ahead. I'm Jordi Palette. It might be good if we could leave the slide on the screen for people to understand better what I was going to say. Yes, we can request that. Initially, I agree with the spirit of the proposal 
but I think that we can improve the text significantly because it seems to me that instead of focusing on only on the rowers, we can uh, talk of different things that we are not thinking of now that are related with that recovery of resources. And probably LACNIC is always uh, already doing it. I think that LACNIC is confirming that they are removing uh, the rowers when our resource is being reassigned, but we may be missing things, and we, or we might not even know them because of the way LACNIC operates. So if you see the change that you propose, what I would suggest, no, the slide, that one. What I would propose is where it says, on these resources in the database of LACNIC and will revoke, instead of that, I would I would put of LACNIC and other elements of registries and services related with those resources, such as ROAS, uh, IRR, etc. So we are killing the, several birds with the same stone because there may be many, many things that we don't know that are associated to a revocation of recourses, and I'm sure LACNIC is already doing it, but we're not mentioning it here. Thank you, Jordi. Do you have any comments for Jordi? Well, actually, the proposal is specifically aimed at ROAS and IRRs that are the information systems provided by LACNIC on routing. So the proposal itself is meant to, for that. The staff eliminates, deletes, the, it keeps, it preserves the two information systems compatible and this proposal is needed for it, that to be explicitly said so that it will cover that LACNIC will be char in charge of the, this process. Thank you. The next question, name and organization. Robert Story, del Instituto de Ciencias de los Estados Unidos. Básicamente, Quería reiterar lo que yo ya dije en la lista de correo. En general, estoy a favor de este cambio. Y yo tuve la misma sugerencia que hice en la lista. El artículo C de 7.1 es otro paso en el que se sacan las delegaciones inversas antes del de artículo D, del literal D. Yo creo que si estamos sacando la funcionalidad, tal vez para atraer la atención de a quien sea que se le estén asignando los recursos, um, before D might be a stronger way to, to get their attention before everything is, is finalized. Of seven one, there are three letters in the re revocation. In this case, I'm only discussing letter D. It's by the time three months have gone by after revoking those uh, resources, and they have not been claimed by whoever they had been assigned to. So this policy or this this letter in this paragraph is the end of uh, the revocation process. Muy bien, entonces. Two months of the not getting a response from the organization. And so I guess my question is, it's not clear to me why that step is done after two months and this step is done after three. And if there's a step at two months, um, that to me, removing the delegation seems like a way to try and get them to notice that something's going on, but they haven't responded. And I think that revoking the ROAs will do the same thing, but in a much stronger 
fashion. When routes start to fail, they're going to, and they stop getting traffic, they're going to notice that before reverse delegations stop working, which they might not ever notice. So the idea being to get them to respond after two months before reaching this step when everything's going to be deleted from the database and there's going to be a whole process to get everything reinstated. So. Yes. Okay, but I understand the proposal, but specifically those two months stated in Article C is prior to this, and that is another term for those who has the resources assigned can then contact LACNIC. The first step is to remove the delegation in the DNSs of the reverse zones. These are different steps until this stage where this, the holdership is no longer uh, there. Let me clarify something, Santiago. I'm Alfredo from LACNIC staff. In two months' time, what you delete are the configurations of those organizations that we haven't been unable to contact during the revocation process. After three months, once the process is finished and the resources are going to be revoked, all the rest is then uh, deleted. So the two-month period is like a preliminary period for those organizations we have been unable to contact just as a call of attention. Fernando. So I understand the spirit of the proposal, and it is positive, and I share the spirit of this proposal. Now, I don't really manage to see the practical side of this, just for the sake that when you revoke assigned processes to an organization, then automatically you revoke everything else that depends from that organization. So if ROAS had been assigned by an organization that had a holdership to do so, once they lose that holdership, that ROA issued by that organization is no longer valid. That happens automatically. It's going to happen whichever way. I think doesn't raise any issues, including this in a manner which is similar to my other proposal. I don't now maybe what m could be more interesting and I don't see this to be very practical is to do this prior to the revocation process so how do you do what do you do with the reverse GNS is and in practical terms very little difference this will be and the other thing that I stated in the list but I repeat here is the following I understand that the IRR base of LACNIC is not ruled by policies developed in this policy forum. The uh, rules of the RRR, IRR is defined by LACNIC staff, so a uh, proposal cannot determine what has to be done with the IRR database. So we consider this being defined by a third party database. This is managed by LACNIC, but it's only the staff that can define the rules. In this context, therefore, I cannot be in favor, but I share the good spirit of this proposal. <coughs> yes, this proposal understands to explicitly state uh, if this happens automatically today in some cases, this does not imply that this has to be done explicitly. Franco, is there anything in the Zoom? Any comments from remote participants? Any further comments? Any further questions? So let us now proceed to measure the temperature in the room. Thank you. Thank you, Santiago. Now let me remind you once again that the Zoom tool shows that we're going to vote, but we're not going to vote. This is just to measure the temperature. We'd like to ask the lightning staff to assist us with counting the hands. Constance is assessed based on the comments made in the forum and in the mailing list, 
and this is not considered a voting process. So the people who are in favor of this proposal, please raise your hand and keep your hand raised for a couple of minutes. So thank you. Now those persons who are against this proposal, please raise your hand and keep it raised for a couple of seconds. Thank you. Those who abstain, please raise your hand. Thank you. So the proposal lack 2023 5 version 1 eliminating ROAS in the case of recovered resources finalizes its initial discussion period on the November 15th 2023 so as from that date and for two weeks the chairs will communicate to the community whether this proposal reaches consensus we invite you to continue the discussion in the policy list we'll now go on to the next proposal We'll now go on to the proposal LAC 2236 version number one.